there's only one state in the entire United States which is worth discussing, Hawaii. Thanks for tuning in to another special episode of Tyler Vance Rants. I am your host, Tyler Vance himself, and you're not. It's February 1st, 1985. On last week's TNT, it was revealed that Paul Vachon and his new wife Ophelia were facing marital problems. Bobby the Brain Heenan, the giant John Studd, and the world's strongest man Ken Patera outlined their goals now that Andre the Giant has been cut down to size. And Jesse the Body Ventura discussed his transition from pro wrestler to pro wrestler commentator. Both Vince McMahon and Lord Awful Alfred Hayes host TNT yet again. And the first guest is the returning magnificent Morocco with his manager, Mr. Fuji. Nice to have you. Nice for you to have me too. Even Morocco agrees with me when it comes to Hawaii. I mean, it's not our faults that the mainland United States is nothing more than a cesspit of corruption. What can I say? It's the truth. It's, uh, it's a fact. Just look at how the Magnificent One spends his days in January. Impressive, Mr. Morocco. Impressive? That to me is embarrassment. What won't be embarrassing is the Magnificent Morocco's match next against Mario Mancini. When Morocco starts the match off with several kicks to the gut of Mancini before hitting the not-so-super Mario with a backbreaker. A Russian leg sweep follows, but as the Magnificent One goes for the pin, he tells the referee no. The Magnificent Morocco has ambitions of taking the WWF Championship from Hulk Hogan, and no doubt wants the Hulkster to know what he's in for. A devastating tombstone pile driver is what secures the Magnificent Morocco the 1-2-3. Your days are numbered, Hulk Hogan. You know, it's refreshing to hear some, some accurate commentary. Isn't the body just great on commentary? Back in the TNT studio, Vince McMahon asks Mr. Fuji, what plans does the manager have for his client? And while there are many, right now Mr. Fuji is focusing on making the magnificent Morocco merciless. Mind to mind communication. And that's how we communicate. Oriental discipline. <laughs> how the hell do you expect me to go from the beautifully magnificent state with its stellar representative in the magnificent Morocco to Kentucky with Hillbilly Jim's grandmother Kim and her two ugly, smelly dogs? Well, somebody should put some scent on them, I well, think. Well, that's uh, the kind of perfume they put on. Grandma Kim is incredibly proud of her grandson stating that while he may be the most powerful man in all of Kentucky, deep down, he's really just a teddy bear. Oh, that boy is something. That boy is, he's a bigger nanny. Someone call the retirement community because this geezer's lost it. Professional wrestling is not only a very difficult sport to begin with, but it's even more difficult to be successful at. On the last episode of WWF Championship Wrestling, Hillbilly Jim put everybody's fears to rest as he debuted and subsequently beat Terry Gibbs one-on-one, -on -one, something that Grandma Kim was just absolutely enthused to watch on the TV box. He said maybe someday I'll come watch him in person. <laughs> <sighs> we all have Hulk Hogan to thank for that mess. The next guest on TNT is a returning one in Bobby the Brain Heenan, and this time the brain has come alone. Once he sits down though, Vince McMahon grills him for what he, Ken Patera, and John Studd did to Andre the Giant several weeks ago when they cut his hair. All McMahon wants to know is why. Why not? The guy looks like he could use a haircut. Before the incident, I must have said it a dozen times. During the incident, I know I said it. After the incident, Heenan, Studd, and Patera all said it themselves. There is only room for one giant in the WWF, and his name is John Studd. Why can't you get that through your toupee, McMahon? Realizing he's going to get nowhere asking these same questions again and again, Vince McMahon changes track and instead focuses this time on how Heenan, Studd, and Patera all behaved on last week's TNT. He raised his hand. Didn't they ever tell you never volunteer for nothing? He'll never volunteer again, will he? Look, Vinny, 
I'm gonna say this for your benefit, not mine. No one messes with Bobby Heenan or his clients lest they walk away looking like a fool. It happened to Andre the Giant. It happened to Andre the Hippie. And it just might happen to you. I mean, three of you teamed up on Andre the Giant. That's not fair either. No, it's not, but that's life. What are you gonna do? What am I supposed to do? Stand here and shake with the word Andre the Giant? The final guest of TNT is another manager. This time, classy Freddie Blassie. All right, before I get into what the interview entailed, I would just like to share how much Mrs. Vance loved Mr. Blassie's outfit. Oh my God, Tyler, look at this man's outfit. It's so shiny. Look at all those sequins. Do you know where we got it? I need to get it. Do you want me to look beautiful? Cause that's how I'm gonna look beautiful. Needless to say, I'm out a couple hundred dollars. Did you know that Freddie Blassie is such a celebrity that when he's not managing several of his clients to superstardom, he's golfing with both Bob Hope and Jack Lemmon? A man can dream. I mean, Blassie has been a pro wrestler himself, and on top of that has managed several other wrestlers to not only superstardom, but championship gold. It's no wonder the man's so blinged out. Freddie Blassie has proven people wrong in the past, and he's planning on proving people wrong yet again when it concerns his two top clients, the Iron Sheik and Nikolai Volkov. They are the uncrowned WWF Tag Team Champions, according to Classy Freddy Blassie. And I have a hard time doubting him. They're the uncrowned World Tag Team titles and I guarantee they will win it. That brings us to the end of another TNT. <laughs> and how cold of an episode was this one? Thankfully, Don Morocco brought a piece of Hawaii with him to warm us up. You know, the rest of the United States should be more like Hawaii warm, inviting, and absolutely gorgeous. Maybe then people wouldn't look at a place like Kentucky with its barns, banjos, and bozos everywhere and go, gee, I really wish I was in Hawaii right now. Thanks for tuning in to another special episode of Tyler Vance Rants. Don't forget to like the video, hit the bell, and subscribe so you never stop and ask yourself, gee, where can I find more Tyler Vance content? You'll also find it warm, inviting and absolutely gorgeous by following me on social media where it is 1985 and pro wrestling all over again that's it for now so long from the beautiful majestic state of hawaii with an <laughs> stating that while he may be the most powerful man <laughs>